Hello, in the video today I want to talk to you, or at least show you, about Mars Communications Limited or one of their customers. So there's an area in the UK called Red Hill, which is near Rygate and Dorking, which has telephone numbers starting in 01737. So if you misdial and dial 01373, and uh, try and ring somebody on this Red Hill uh, area code or um, you know a subset of you get this very interesting message so let's try this so it's O one and then I'm going to typo it so three seven three six four three five two two To get this number, call zero eight four three one one six seven seven eight five. Please call zero eight four three one one six seven seven eight five. Please call zero eight four three one one six seven seven eight. Five. Please call. So what it's done there is basically said to get this number, please dial 08431167785. So that's Mars Communications answering that telephone number and then uh, telling the caller to ring an expensive number. That expensive number there is at a minimum from BT Landlines. 10.2 pence per minute plus an access charge uh, sorry a service charge which is down to um, the holders of that 0843 number so the call is likely to be far more expensive so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is call that number and we'll see what comes up but that's going to be an expensive number so I've got to work out the, the cheapest way that I can uh, I can ring it to record this uh, just as a quick addition, it should be noted that Mars Communications uh, specialise in mm, premium rate numbers, so uh, it's in their interest to, to earn money from their premium rate numbers. And that 0843 number, 0843116, is also allocated to Mars Communications Limited. So let's see what happens when I ring this number. I'm going to have to edit this video because as I start typing numbers, uh, all my uh, autocomplete contacts come up on the screen, so I don't particularly want um, the entire internet seeing all my contacts. So uh, let me. Uh, the next thing you will see is me having typed in the number up to the point where none of my other contacts show on the screen. So there we go. So I had to type the first uh, four digits before my other contacts didn't show on the screen. So 08431167785. Seven seven eight five. So that's the number that they've told people that miss dial to ring. Let's see what they do. So at this point, I'm pretty sure they've answered the call because it says, please hold while we connect the call. So I'm now being charged for listening to... You are currently held in a queue and will be transferred to an operator as soon as possible. ...to listen to ringing tone. So it'd be interesting, although I'm not sure I have the uh, expenditure, to spend 
as long as I can on this and see how long until I get answered. I'm going to assume that this is just an eternal I'm going to assume that this is just an eternal hold uh, there to generate revenue. I'll give it two minutes and see if anyone answers. And also note that when you ring the number, I'm not sure whether it applies to 0843 numbers, but uh, certain telephone numbers in the UK, you have to announce the call costs uh, as the first thing you do when the call answers. So it should go calls to this number cost 30 pence per minute plus your network access charge. And that telephone number, when I answered, didn't do anything, it's just gone straight into ringing. So, there we go. I'm going to uh, give up with that. It's two minutes, and uh, I'll see how much that call cost. And there we go. So, that call from my mobile for two minutes cost 38 pence. Uh, sorry, no, 76 pence, which works out at around 38 pence per minute. Um, and then phone pay, phone pay plus, say, this non-geographic number charged up to 10 pence per minute, which is wrong anyway, because BT's own price list uh, says 10.2 pence per minute. Uh, just a quick video showing that BT's own help documentation says that calls to those numbers are charged at 10.24 pence per minute. So, uh, 10.24 pence per minute plus the service charge as well and as they say there the organization you're calling should tell you how much extra you're paying for the service charge which that number does not uh, so phone play plus who regulate these numbers are wrong on their call charges uh, anyway ridiculous um, although it still does say there though the costs will vary depending on the phone company so I do wonder how long you would sit on that phone line until or if anyone actually answered. Uh, if anyone wants to spend their money doing that and recording it, I'd be very interested in it. Maybe one day I'll do it when I feel like I've got some money just to burn. Um, but it feels very unfair to anyone that misdials. So um, I presume that Mars Communications, maybe I'll look and see if they've got any other number ranges and ring any of the other numbers in their uh, allocations and see whether they do the same on other number ranges. And if so, they could be spinning out a lot of money on people misdialing and being told to ring this expensive number. Um, yeah, very interesting. Right, so Mars Communications Limited also own some numbers in the range 01403, which is very easy to misdial if you're dialing a Guildford number, which is 01483. So let's see what happens if I dial uh, a random telephone number in that range. I just need to quickly work out the number of digits I need to dial and invent a number. So let's do 01403855123 and see whether that, that does anything and whether we get the same message on that. So 014 and then I'm going to misdial because I want 83 but 01403 8551234 To get this number, call zero eight four three one one six seven seven eight five. Please call zero eight four three one one. And once six. again, that same message asking somebody basically to redial on a different number, not explaining the call charges for that number, and also not explaining what the service is. So they say to get this number. So possibly legitimately they could be meaning it to buy this telephone number but certainly for just your normal average public caller uh, it, 
I think it's uh, pretty underhand and uh, obfuscating what they're actually doing and uh, and the cool charges involved. And going back to the numbers that they have allocated, so in the Red Hill range, they have 10,000 telephone numbers allocated to them by Ofcom. So that's a lot of scope for people misdialing or in the in the misdialed Red Hill range. In this uh, Horsham range, they have 1,000 telephone numbers allocated to them. Uh, let me just double check whether they've got any further ones um, within that range, just in case they need adding to it. Okay, now we've moved on to a different range, so they've got 1,000. So I'm going to go on the low estimate of having probably 1,000 uh, numbers per area code. And if we look at the search result, they've got 594 areas that they own numbers in. So that means there's 594,000 telephone numbers you can potentially misdial. There's lots of complaints on the internet about somebody who just sat there on hold and didn't get through to anyone. Um, redirected, got no reply, so somebody rang it again, sat on hold for ages, tried to call redirected numbers. Again, it's not somebody being uh, redirected, they misdialed and got that message asking them to ring this expensive number. And again, probably misdialed to another number that um, Mars Telecommunications own. So, not great really. Somebody's saying there they got charged £4 for the call, so they must have sat on hold for a long time. Now, people do kind of embellish the charges that they get, so... Uh, I wouldn't say that somebody could really ring up a £20 bill unless they sat on it for a long, long time, but still, uh, Mars Communications or one of their customers, but I'm going to say that it's probably them, considering that these numbers, you know, in multiple ranges across multiple cities, uh, these numbers are, are telling people to ring that expensive number. Um, yeah, make of it what you will. Uh, I thought, for the benefit of anyone else who's been got by this, um, you know, this is what they're doing. Uh, the people that you probably want to complain to will either be Phone Pay Plus or Ofcom. Not sure Ofcom uh, investigate individual consumer complaints, so I'd start with Phone Pay Plus. But yeah, take it as far as you can if you have been charged uh, by this, because in my opinion, they aren't making it clear on the initial message asking you to ring the expensive number that uh, you know why you're being asked to ring this number. And when you ring the expensive number and you get the ringing tone, which you assume that you wouldn't be charged for, they've already answered the call and are charging you for it and have also not told you the uh, the phone, the, the charges for ringing those numbers.